I want you to get out page eight of the Spivak Library, please. Sure. Are they labeled eight? And that would be, uh, it starts with a close flam. Okay. And faint and flam, flam and faint. Oh, uh, oh, here is a close flam. Okay. <coughs> All right, so, Hey, we're looking at the uh, we're looking at Spivak's library, uh, page eight, the close flam, faint and flam, flam and faint, and the flam and stroke. And as Richard Martinez likes to say, this this is like probably one of the very first pages. You know, he has things ahead of each, an organization of of notes, a comparative table of the relative value of notes, and there, there's this, there are, and then perhaps a list of all of the roll strokes, right? And then there's also that. Then he actually has the roll strokes written out. So, but by page eight, this is kind of gives sets up the whole technique okay now maybe i let's see. Yeah, see page three is the uh single strokes and table roll wrist rebound uh, And of course, yeah, the other one. Various examples of abbreviations is the very first page. It's all beautifully laid out, although not necessarily in the exact order that Richard Wilson taught certain students. Uh, you know, I notice that my order is different than what we're seeing in the library. But so, yeah, so what I gave you, the up and down stroke exercise, at the bottom of the page begins the close flam. So it dovetails into this next page, which really sets up the entire technique. So there are seven basic strokes when it comes to the Spivak, Murray Spivak technique. However, if you read Richard Wilson's article in Modern Drummer, you know, I mean, everyone, Vinny comments on Richard Wilson and then Carlos comments, Mike Barsamanto. Uh, and what Carlos says is, I think he says, there's only three things, or maybe four. There's three, only three things. And he gets, brings it down even further and <laughs> explains that, that you have a wrist turn. Right, we have this particular wrist turn, right. which, which, because this technique is all in the wrist, it's all a wrist turn. But, but we have what is maybe a regular wrist turn, right? right. And, and then, and then we have we have rebounds. But we, you see, with a regular wrist turn, the fulcrum exists in the wrist, which kind of freaked out modern drummer. Right. We, I got a call from the editor, Richard and I, Richard Martinez and I wrote those four articles in Modern Drummer regarding the Spivak Wilson technique. And I got a call back saying. And it's it's not pejorative anyway, it was just like it was something different. And, and it's like, what do you mean? That the, I think you made a mistake, but you're saying the fulcrum is in the wrist. Is everybody thinks of the fulcrum that exists in the hand and there if the stick is rebounding there's a fulcrum somewhere in the hand even if you clutch it if you can get it to go there's a fulcrum somewhere in there and so i explained that uh 
No, the, the wrist is a fulcrum, and I used the drawbridge metaphor, right? The drawbridge gets pulled up. And went, oh, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, right? Got, boom, got it right away. And, and so there is this fulcrum that exists in the wrist, right? Right. Now, as well, we, if our re we're rebounding, we have a fulcrum that must exist somewhere in the hand, right? And that's where it gets a little murky, especially if that's why the left is so cool, because there's only one place where that fulcrum is. It's just so obvious. Over here, you have this three finger grip and it's like rocking through there. And it, it, typically we think of when we're in when we're in French, and this is, you should read the article, the Modern Drummer article uh, with Richard Wilson discussing the technique. He says, in French, the fulcrum is the first finger. In half turned over, the fulcrum is somewhere in between the first finger and the middle finger. <laughs> and in palm down, it becomes the middle finger. Now, Carlos Vega said to me, you know, I feel like the fulcrum is somewhere in between the first finger. And so it's so, so though it's it's the thumb, really. See, the sending energy could be the thumb. It, so well, there's a fulcrum in the hand. Okay, so we have a regular wrist turn, but then we have rebounds, which incorporate which will incorporate the wrist fulcrum and the fulcrum in the hand, wherever it is. And then we have a motion. That's it. Now you could say, well, there's an upstroke and a downstroke. Good. You know, and then you could say, well, the Pagetoras are another uh, one of the, but very simply, you have a wrist turn, rebounds, and a throw, and a throw, executed properly, it provides the opportunity to, to make a tap on the way up. So you have upstrokes and downstrokes. So in this technique, we, we were playing notes going in both directions, just not everything down. What were you going to say? Uh, so in this technique, there's no, uh, like some people will talk about uh, finger control. There's no finger control involved in this this technique. No, towards the end, Dick would get into finger pulls. Uh, okay. Yeah, and and Louis Belson worked on fingers forever. He had really good fingers, so we can play fingers. But that's like an an extension. This technique is really all about the wrist, right? Yeah, and if I understand that this is played correctly. You could probably play just as fast as you would if you were just playing fingers. With that I, don't, I don't think anyone was faster than, than Buddy Rich, except maybe Dick Wilson. Okay. I, I should be careful. I mean, no, but again, I guess if, I guess the point. I, we can take the metronome, but I mean, you're going to say Vinny ain't fast, really? I, uh, the, the Chad Wackerman isn't fast. You've got to be kidding. So Louis Belson wasn't fast. It um, and Buddy Rich would would I have the article where he rails against all this finger control stuff. I don't get it. He says, "Yeah, because it's the rest you have to get a grip on the stick, but not so tight that you choke it, so it can rebound." That's it. And I don't use a lot of arm because it, it's a, it's too much too much work. I I noticed I can I can do this. I can feel that weight in here like this. Mm -hmm. And if I grip not like this, like I should supposed to be with a grip, but if I grip like this, I can still feel the weight of the, that stick and bouncing in there. But when I try to do a double stroke, it sounds like a lopsided horse running going down the racetrack because it doesn't release enough. There's not, it's more uh, uh, with the right, there's more sound of the wood as opposed to, I think I'm choking the stick. 
that I can actually feel on a, on a, a regular uh, single stroke. I can, I'm loose enough to let that go. But when it comes to, to a double stroke, it's like ta-da, 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 ta-da. It just sounds very uneven. And, and that's the challenge of, of this technique, any technique perhaps. Uh, this technique, when I asked Murray, well, which, in a nutshell, what's, what's going on here? He goes, we're learning to control the rebound. I said, Dick, so what's this technique really all about? He goes, we're controlling the rebound. So that's what we're trying, we're figuring out how to do. Okay, but we're not into rebounds yet because one thing at a time. And that's, that's part of the, the, the magic of we're building. Right, we, 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 by learning patience and going through this thing, starting at the beginning, we end up getting to the end more quickly if we're able to be patient and just recognize that there is a chronology, as Murray and Dick would say, of strokes. Okay, so. So what we have is this particular grip, right? You hold it, you can hold it here, we're in the right. First, I'm just first finger and thumb. First, just first finger and thumb, not middle finger. Yeah, now it seems to me that the, the stick isn't perfectly straight. It, it, it does seem to be at a little bit of an angle, doesn't it? Because it, it, it ends up resting just next to this bone, the palm. So it seems that the stick, the stick would, would run not entirely straight. Then it would run to the, to the middle of the hand. So it's, it's a little bit of an angle little bit towards your head and, and not straight, a little bit pointed toward, like that. Don't overdo it, just, yeah, see how it runs to the to this outside of the bone here in the palm. Right. Okay, you put the middle finger on, we don't squeeze it, stick hasn't changed position, we're not squeezing it, we're just putting it on, right? And then, and then we come down and we also notice that there is the potential for this feeling, weight of the stick in the middle finger. So show me that. Right, so you see? So we have this, we have this, we have this. Yeah, and we have we have this grip. Now the other thing is, if you're up here, come back up here. What we're what we're doing now is in that we we did we built this three finger grip. Now the fourth and the fifth can either be just off the stick or they can just be gently touching the stick. But it's really about the three finger grip. And 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 this is this is that grip. Okay, so that there you go. Yeah, in the right. And in the left, remember there's this shape that we get. All right? right. It's a shape. And then we're going to duplicate that in the left. The stick rests in the crotch of the thumb and on the fourth finger between the first knuckle and the second knuckle. And we let the thumb, it would say, let the thumb lie down. You don't counterbalance with it. You don't go forward. One way he'd have you get it is just do this. You have to hold the stick up off the surface. Oh. Yep, perfect. Now just wrap your hand around the stick. Yeah, see it brought the hand in, didn't it? It 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 gave you it gave you this position. This <laughs> position. So that the, the two look similar in terms of we don't we don't hold the stick like this. We don't hold the stick like this. You've probably seen guys that play like this or like this. Or who knows what, right? This is the left hand is the right hand on this side. Okay, so we have that. Okay, now you need to move your lesson and please get a music stand. It's a big deal. Okay.
Now, <clears throat> this will be easy to memorize, but this would be, if we can go further into the page, you, you're going to want to look at it. Uh, so, we worked on this this last week, right? Where I actually got you to go, uh, 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 uh
I'll go faster. Uh, come on, just one note on the way up, not two. No, you're making two. Stop, stop, stop. What you're doing is really cool and, and actually correct. But let's just keep this simple because I'm taking you somewhere. It's just one tap. There, see? They're up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Now that's what we're that's what we're heading for when we play alternating flams. Okay? So that means that we're not going to make a big deal out of this right now. We'll just induce it. We'll see what happens. But what we want to do is we want to make a throw in. Murray starts it right, so we're going to make, oh, see, got to get my position. I was like, well, yeah, whatever. No, no, no. You, 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 I'm already bent. If I start this way, I can't make an upstroke. I'm just going to lift my arm up. I have to be at the floor with this position. And in the left, I can't just be any old where, any old place, any old uh, wrist position. It needs to be like, see, they look similar. Lining up with my tape, hopefully. Right? So we, we leave the bead down. We don't need to make a tap. And then we turn. And then the left is going to go up. And it's going to, that's my, my fault. I, 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 let, me, let me rephrase that. We're going up and we're going to make a little tap in the left. Tap me. When I say tap from now on, keep it simple. The tap is either a, a regular wrist turn or a little rotation, not a throw. We're only dealing with taps and throws right now, but eventually ups. Okay, so we're making a throw on the right and a tap in the left, creating a flam. Can you make a can you make a right flam? I, I, I don't know how far along you are in terms of no, 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 no. It's really simple now. I just want one right flam. A right flam means the primary note will be the right making a throw and the left makes a little tap. Nope, it's just one note or two notes. Watch. Do you know, do you know what an appoggiatura is? Appository? Yes. An appoggiatura. No. Uh, cool. It's a grace note. It's a note that precedes the main note. Okay. Okay. So all we're doing is we are just going, oh, yeah, I started up. <laughs> I can bust myself. It, it, I'll, give, I'll, I'll give myself a break because I am busy communicating, but Dick used to say, you should just be able to play your rear end off and be talking to somebody. It's like, oh, okay. And so, and so watch. As I start to head towards the surface in my right, I'm gonna, just gonna get, play a, just a little bit ahead of it. Goes ba -da. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Now try it. Now that's a that that's a, that's a trick that Dick would use to, to teach kids. And I think Chad Wackerman talks about that in uh, because you can you can pretend they're on a string and they're attached and they're going to come down together, <laughs> right? But but I want let let's. Let's let's just approach it a little more in a more scholarly way. So this hand is going to make the throw, and this little uh, the left and traditional is going to make a preceding tap, and not with the arm. The left is just doing that little thing. Show me what the left will do. No, the left has to turn just up to the ceiling a tiny bit, like that. Take a look, like that. There. There, there, <laughs> you got it. Now, can you go the other way? Can the left go up and the right make a little tap and not do anything other than just turn the wrist? You got it. Now go back and forth. Look at you, you see? Speed it up, come on, a little faster. There's your upstroke. Come on, up, 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 Now you're showing up. That's really good, dude. Yeah, you see? It's that, that simple. Yeah, right. So it's as if, now, now, now just turn, now just, 
just turn that into throws. Give me a nice big throw. Can you give me a big throw? Yeah, now watch. Watch how easy it is. It'll, it'll alternating play happens to essentially just feel like this. Okay? It looks like a throw, doesn't it? Yeah, throw, throw, just throw now. Just throw. No flams, no flams. Now, now add the little brace note. Just touch as you go up. Uh, pretty good, man. So let's see what you got that up to. Tap, 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 tap. We're close to 80 there, but really we'd want to start it. Tap. If we started at 48, there probably wouldn't be an upstroke. It'd just be a tap without making it an upstroke. Do you understand the difference, Steve? Right? I'm making the upstroke. Right. So you. So I'll just reiterate. Okay. It's slow enough. Let's see. See my my right taps. It, it it it's not going up. It's just tapping. Then it goes up. My it's just tapping. My left is taps. Then it goes up. It just taps and then it goes up. But it's watch. If I if I double the speed, watch. Or if I speed it up, I'm playing eighth notes. Now that little tap becomes an upstroke. See? There's no time to just make a little, little tap and wait and then go up. See? At this speed, it's much easier just to play an upstroke. So, so we're, we're gonna what we're gonna do is let's see, let's figure out where the where let's see, 40. Throw, tap, throw, tap. Row. Sorry about that. So at 40, it's not an upstroke. It's just a tap. But one hand, hand has to raise, and the other makes a tap. That's it. Now double that speed. See, now it's an upstroke. Okay, now go back to just tapping. Too slow to make it an upstroke. You know why it's too slow to make it an upstroke? Let me tell you. That's, you're not supposed to know it. it's rhetorical. Okay. It, because this t technique is all about up to come down. So if we were to take something slow, like an alternating flap, and make an upstroke where where here's what would end up happening. See, watch my right. The wedge. It's real slow. If, if I make this an upstroke, this has to wait in the air. Waiting in the air. Well, this technique, we don't wait in the air like that. A throw has to be one smooth thing. So you have to be at a speed where it's fast enough so that if you're gonna make upstrokes, It doesn't wait in the air. It gets to the top and then comes back down. So if it's slow, we don't go waiting in the air. We just go tap and then we go up, tap, and then we go up. You see, you see the difference? Well, yeah, go ahead and make, make an upstroke real slow. Just let's play one stroke and go up. No, we've got to make an up. Ah. Might be a weird challenge for you. Watch, watch. So I'm going to make a throw in the right, and I'm going to make an upstroke in the left. Do that. No, throw in the right. Yeah, no, hold, no, wait. That's it. You got it. Throw in the right. Come on, give me a throw. Give me a throw. You got to, you got to go up and leave the B down, and then give me a throw. Okay, but you got to go up in the left. See, it's real slow. You're waiting in the air. Now go the other way. Make it down in the left and then up in the right. Come on. Yep, yep. We're holding in the. See, come on. Got to go up right away. It's got to go up right away. No, you, yeah. 
No, the right's got to go up. Uh, Throw in the left. Uh, Throw in the left. Up. Wait, B should be pointed down. And up is down. Pointed down. It goes up, pointing down. No, here, watch. Watch. This is cool. Here's an upstroke, broken up, broken down into two parts. It waits there. Just do that. See, if the left is going to make it down, the right, the right's just going to wait. That's got to go up and wait. The right. There, yeah, there. There. Now do the other way. Go real slow. Wait. The, there you go. Go the other way. Come on. Right. See, if you did it too slow, that's what it would look like. We don't need to do that. Come on, point down. That's really good, though. That really gives you a feeling for the, right? Yeah, see? Now, if you speed it up, it will make sense because you won't be waiting in the air. It'll, at a certain point, it'll just flow up, down, up, down. Okay? Point down on your right. Point down on the right when you go up. Down. Point down. Yes, that's it. Yeah, and then cock your wrist to the ceiling. Cock. Cock your wrist to the ceiling. There it is. All right, dude. Good. See, and now you're starting to get this feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it starts to go ying, ying. It's not. Oh, uh -huh. It's just this beautiful little thing, isn't it? See how lovely that is? And when I give you your foot lesson, you'll find out that that's what the feet are doing, too. And your whole body will be working in a synchronistic way. Very good already. Now we're going to move on to your first. Well, that's a stroke. You're playing the close slam. As written, he does it. We're playing the alt. Really, what I'm doing is I'm having you play the, an alternating slam. Not exactly as written. Because he has you just going right, 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 over and over, left, left. We just, I went, I got you right into a more advanced stage. Okay, now what we're doing is we're gonna play the faint and flam. And if you look, there are dynamic markings. The faint, obviously, is soft, and he calls it a ta, a ta. The flam is the twa, so you have ta twa, right? Okay. And, and so we're, playing an accent for the second note. And so it's soft, loud, ta-twa. It sounds like ta-twa, like a paradiddle. Sounds like paradiddle, ta-twa, you know? And so here's how it goes. I'm, I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna have you work on, by the way, I'm gonna have you work on alternating plans from 40 up to 80. Okay. Okay. So, these strokes aren't really burners, as far as I'm concerned. They're just the building blocks. So we're not trying to like get this thing happening, burning like a paradiddle or a five-stroke wall or, you know, wicked, wicked, as we say in Canada, wicked fast singles. So we have a left. This is to teach us up and down strokes. This just sets up the whole technique. So it starts left. It's the touch. It's the pianissimo. See, it's an it's a it's an up. But you just got it's an up, up, and then twa. It goes up, and then the right hand makes a little tap, and you play a flam. Try it. Okay. Uh, no, start left. It starts left. Uh, no, the left is going up. No, up, upstroke, upstroke. That's a regular tap. No, upstroke. What is an upstroke? We just, but you have to make a tap. You have to make a note. There it is. You got it. There. No, yeah, almost. No, the right's coming before the left. The left is high. The right, the right's low. You should land first. Like that. You got it. Okay, you got it. You got it. Now go the other way. Now it's got to make an up. Up. There. No. Ah. Oh. 
Come on, it's got to go up in the right, up, and then precede it with the tap in the left. There, now go the other way. Up in the left, little tap. Up in the right, now up in the right. It goes back and forth. Up in the left, up in the left. No, come on. Yup, almost. Faint and flam, faint and flam, faint and flam, faint. There it is. Oh, almost, come on. Stop, stop, you're in a whack. Yeah. Left goes up, and then you play a flam. A left, there. Right goes up, play a right flam. Let, so the right goes up without a flam. First note is not flammed. Okay. It's an up. Start and left, up, left, up, then a flam. That's a left flam, the right, there, now a right flam. Now that means the right's got to go up. Left flam. No, it goes up by itself. No. It goes up all by itself. Then you play a flam. Go up all by itself, play a flam. Up. No, you didn't go up all by itself. Left goes up all by itself, like that. And the hand closer to the surface is going to land first for a flam. No, the left goes up all by itself. Now you play a flam. Yeah, right, that's it. Now the right goes up all by itself. Now you play a flam. Left, not then. Just slow down. Don't don't jump ahead. Now the left goes up. Break it down. The right plays a book. Now the now the right goes up. Just do it once. Stop. 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 Now the left goes up. Play a left flam. Stop. Now the right goes up and play a right flam. Now the left goes up. Play a left flam. Now the right goes up. Play a left right flam. There you go. Up. Faint and flam. Faint and flam. Dude, you got it. You're playing the faint and flam. Faint and flam. You. Okay, so you got that up to 54. But you could play this really slowly, just almost in, in a remedial way. Okay. So what, what is it now? Uh, 40, to, 40 to 80 for your flam. And then we're going 40 to 54 for the faint and flam. Okay, looking really good. Look, you see how you're just cruising right along? Yeah. Definitely. All right, so let's keep going. Sure. See, if we can get, see if we can get to the end of this page. It's yeah. very cool. Okay, so now, now we have the flam and faint. Okay, so now it starts, it's a little different. Now we have, now we have, uh, it's a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note. So it's going to be like a shuffle. So instead of going tap, tap like a rock beat, it's going to go, it's going to go tap, the da, ba, ba. And odd too. Okay, so we start with a right flam. Now tell me, so that I know you understand this, tell me what is a right hand, right flam? This would be a right flam. Okay, so describe it. It's the what hand what hand plays the core note of a right flam? Yeah, the the core note I think would be the right hand. Raised. 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 One hand, Dick would say a flam. Steve. And then the left plays a grace note. I should let you answer, sorry. Okay. Dick would say a flam is one hand high, the other hand low. Okay. So if it's the right flam, the right hand is high, the other left hand is low. Now a left hand is the opposite, right? Okay, so now when I say right flam, you know that the right hand is high and the left is low. So we're starting with a right flam. Let's okay. play it. Send it back. Boom, you got it. One, uh, and now the left is going to go, uh, two, uh, and, and it's going to make it up. One. No, one, uh, and, uh, two. Just do this. One, 
just you have to count yourself in one uh and uh two oh uh, so you have to count yourself in you don't one, play the left is going to start just as a remedial one uh and uh two yeah, but the, the right, if a left hand is high, the right hand can't come up that high, then the right hand isn't low. Do it again, it's good. One, uh, and, uh, No, the left hand is making the big note. The left hand makes the big note. The right hand just we're makes going, a tiny tap. We're going from the first, okay, to the second, okay. One, uh, and, uh, two. No, the eyes in the left. One, uh, and, uh, two. Uh, you got it. One, Out. Uh, okay, you got it. So you're going to start with the right flam and get to that. Now you can play. Right flam. One, uh, you got to count. One, uh, and. No, it's ah, uh, two. Ah, uh, is the upstroke. One, uh, and ah, uh, two. Boom! Now go the other way. One, no, no, go the other way now. It turns around. Now, the left hand is going to start with the flam. Left hand flam. Uh, uh, on. One hand high left. One, one, uh, no, just one. No, no. Start, no. start left now. Go the other way. Oh, I'm looking for, okay. I the wrong line. My, 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 my apology. Okay. Left now. So, one, uh, and, uh, two, uh, and, uh, Three, uh, Woo! Uh, Almost. I'll start again. One, e, and uh, two. Uh, 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 that's enough. The uh is always enough. Uh, 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 up. Uh, up. You got it. Up. Uh, Come on. Up is all by itself. One, e, and uh, two, e, and uh, you know, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Your arms are hanging by your side. You're making motions. Okay. So what's happening with this one? And I think I think a good way to do this is to have you pl play these with no metronome. I just want you to get the motions, and but you have to count out loud. You are the metronome with your voice. So, big part of this. So here's what's happening. The very foundational what we're learning today. You'll notice that because we're not playing the up every eighth note, uh -huh. because we there's more space, because it's a dotted eighth note, so that little little upstroke doesn't come until the very last sixteenth note. One uh and whoa up two uh whoa comes comes later, doesn't it? So that's where you start to get a little flick. One uh and flick. See? One uh and uh two uh it's a little flick. Uh ah uh ah uh ah uh ah uh ah it's a flick. It's not one and See, less of a flick. Still an upstroke. Now we wait up and flick. Flick. It's a little flick. It's a little flick. So it's. You got it. You already got it. But you didn't know it. You didn't know you were more of a flick, isn't it? Now you have to count. See the little flick? Flick. Up, down. Up, down. No, you got to play it right. There you go. almost. See? Make it an up so it's a little flick. Up flick. Make it a bonus to goodness up in the right. Up. Point down as you go up. It's got a point down. It's got a blah. Up. Up. Take your time. Okay, good. Now the last one. And if you play it slow enough, it doesn't feel quite as much like a flick. But that's where this is going, right? You got to get up and down more quickly. The two are closer together. Now here we're back to eighth note, so there's not going to be as much of a flick. 
it's just an up, it's a smoother up to down. Okay, so we're now we're going. This is the Feynman stroke. So it starts small. In this sense, one and two, and this one is a little unique in that although we could play the hand, the flam is one hand high and the other hand low, and we are, but it's not a throw. It's a flam where the one hand high is just turned higher because it's pianissimo. So it's just going to go your right flam instead of making a throw for an accent, it's just going to turn a little higher. So it's going to be one and the left. It, the left is making an upstroke. One, ah. Uh. Just get that part. Slam and stroke. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wasn't watching. Let's see. Just give me the first note. No, you don't throw in the right for this one. You just turn a little higher. Yeah, but the left has to make an up. No, it has to go up right away. No, the very first note is an up. No, 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 no. So. Up in the left. Very first, no, in the left. The right's making a tap, a kind of a big tap. Yeah, I got you all turned around. <laughs> so, okay, you're, you're, you're gonna you're gonna be fine. Let's just get the left. Okay. It's just playing up in the left. No, just playing up in the left. No, just an up in the left on one. You have to play it up. You have to make a note. No, it's an up. You have to make the note. If I call it an upstroke, it's a note. You have no. It's the note going up. There. Yeah, now you got it. Just that. That's it. Stop. Wait. You can wait there. Okay. Now come back down. Come back down. There. Now the right's just going to make a tap, and you're going to play a flam as the left goes up like that. No. You have to play a flam. That left didn't go up. There it is. Now go the other way. There it is. So what we got, what we got is we have a we have a left we have a left up with a, with a right tap that's a little higher. Is so we have tap. Are we on the last line? Yes, we are. Okay. Up, throw. Just do that much. The left goes up and then throws. No, left goes up. Very first thing that happens is we say one, one, and. That's it. And then do it again. What? Just it's just one and stop and then stop. Now go the other way. Now it's now it's now it's a, a, a left turn. Two and two. So the right's now going to go up with two, as a grace note. Two. Finish it. Play and in the right. No. No, 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 no. Just stay with me. We'll just break it. You got going one way. Okay. Now we're going to go the other way, which means you're going to say two. When you say two, that means the left is making a little turn or tap or rotation, and the right's going to go up. Just do that. Whoop. No, ju no, just, just all you're going to do is and stop. No, nope. right has to play the first note. There's it. You got it. And, and now make a throw on your right. Finish. Go. Come on down. No, it's got to throw. Now throw. There. Stop. Stop. Don't keep going. Now go the other way. The left is going to go up, and the right's going to make a little tap. You've got to come on down on the left, or it can't go up. It's already up. Okay. You're ready. Okay, now throw on the left. Now go the other way. Now stop. Now go the other way. That's it. Now come on. It's got to go up. Throw. Now stay down. Up. Throw. You got it. Now come on. Up. You got it. Throw. Oh, I know. This one's a little harder right? for me too. Up. Throw. Come on. The right's got to go up now. No. Okay. Now the right makes a little tap. No. Now the other way. 
No. So just start start at two. Okay. Right's gotta go up. No, left is turning. Right's gonna start first. Oh, uh, that's right. It's cool, isn't it? Just Four. tricking your brain. No, come on. Just show me an up in the right. Show me an up in the right. No, an up. Got to make a note. It's That's an up motion, an up stroke. That's up. Wait there. Point it down. Wait. There you go. Okay, now let's come back down. This time, make a left lamb going up like that in the right. Let's turn your left. No, the right's going up. No, the right's going up. The left is just doing this. Just one note. And the right goes up. Wow. No, the right goes up on two. That's it. Point it down. Point down. Got it. There it is. Do it again. Now throw. That's right. Now it goes the other way. And the left goes up and throws. Oh, the left has to make an upstroke. No. Yeah. Okay, here's what we're going to do on this one, because this is a little trickier, I think, for all of us. You've had and you've had it today. But what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into two sections. You're just going to work on the first half. Okay. At some point, if you're on your own, you'll probably put all of this together and you'll be able to dovetail. But you're just going to play the first half. The first half is this. The right's going to make a regular tap, regular turn, a little higher though. And the left is going to make an up. So it's just going to be up and a throw. You're going to stop. You're going to do it again. Up, throw. That's it. Up, throw. Up, throw. Go ahead and do that. You got it. Just keep doing that. Really good. Okay, now stop. Now we're gonna, you're just gonna keep doing that. Get that into your nervous system. Now in the, when we get to two, and we're just gonna do this over and over. Now the right, the left is gonna make the little rotation and, and the right's gonna make the up. Up, uh, up, uh. up. Uh. No, writes all by itself when it makes a throw. That's all it does. Yeah. You got it. Point down when you go up in the right. And you make your up there. Point down. No, don't go faster. This isn't going fast. is isn't going to help. You need to go slow so eventually you can play them both together. And stop. You don't, don't want to stop. You don't want to feel the watch. The, the glory of the floor. Mm-hmm. Right? It, it seems counterintuitive, right? But it's like the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Exactly. The floor is a big deal. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're just, we're, not, we're at two now, one and two. And that means that, and I wait. Oh, and I do it again. This is going to do this, and the right's going to go up. Point it down, and I can wait. Got to wait. Enjoy the floor. Got right's got to go up. No, the right has to go make an upstroke. That's it. Point down. Point down. No, that's it. Point. No, stop in the air and point. That's it. That's it. Just wait there now for a minute. Wait at the floor. You did it. Set up, get set up, come on, get your set up. Get your left ankle together, get everything organized. Stop! Now, now do it again. Wait for a minute. Yeah, so you're giving yourself a chance now. Come on, that's it. Stop. Just don't keep going over and over. You have to wait and feel the floor. No, the left doesn't throw, the left just rotates. That's it, boom, stop. That's it, don't stop there. Stop when you finish your right throw. Throw, that's stop. Throw, you gotta throw at the end. Now throw. Leave the bead down a little longer. Don't pull the bead up. 
Come on, leave it pointed down before you throw. There it is. Yeah. Come on, cock to the ceiling for your throw. Cock to the ceiling for your throw. No, you didn't leave the bead down. Cock. That's it. Up, cock. Up, cock. Come on, cock your wrist. Okay. You got it. You got it. You've got to spend some time going both ways and waiting in between, enjoying the feeling of being settled at the floor. Okay, very good. Turning up the camera. 